this is the uh, new assignment, and uh, the, um, uh, the the basic gist of it is that um, uh, you're going to replace basically the uh, the client side that is uh, currently uh, in the, implementing the course services on the client side, which is just a hard coded uh, list or array of courses. You're going to replace that with uh, with, with with a server that a side that uh, is going to expose expose that uh, data model. Right. We um, uh, we ask you to create a middle tier that uh, you might already have created in the previous assignment. In I think it's maybe assignment one, the one that you use for the jQuery assignment. Right, you can use that one still. Right, uh, and uh, and we're asking you to create the following data model. Uh, that's uh, basically the same data model that we've been using so f uh, all along where you have a, a person that uh, has two types, a student and a faculty. We're focusing mostly on the faculty side for now. Uh, after, the, um, after the break, when we start looking at Angular, we'll focus on this side, on the students, right? and folks being able to enroll in sections and things like that. But for now, we're focusing on a faculty being able to create many courses. Courses has different modules, chapters. Uh, this chapter is really lessons, lessons. And then topics and widgets, and uh, and and we're going to replace all the way up to topics uh, with, the, with the data model being able to retrieve a particular course that contains modules, lessons, and and topics. We're, we're going to ignore widgets for now, right? so we're going to have the, the data model all stored in the on the server side, all the way up down to topics. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that um, we're gonna we're gonna add some. Um, um, uh, being able to to manipulate users, being able to register a user, log in, uh, and retrieve somebody's profile. Uh, for that, we're going to need to look at HTTP session for a minute. All right, so we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, being able to uh, actually register, which is the same register page that you worked on in jQuery. Right? Uh, still, the, J, the, the jQuery, you can still leave the, the front end as jQuery. That could stay as jQuery. You don't have to change that. Uh, but Instead of uh, you're just using JavaScript locally on your on, on your client, it'll need to com communicate with the server and say, "Oh, here's a new user, right? I add the user. It'll, it'll have to do a register will be a post, okay? Um, actually, a login will also be a post. Uh, since a, it's a uh, usually you want to pass in login username and password, and you don't want to pass that in the in the um, in the clear. So you want to maybe put it in the body." And then maybe use HTTPS to secure that. Uh, HTTPS is not free on Heroku. You would need to pay for it. Uh, so it's OK if you don't pay for it. And we'll just keep using just plain old HTTP. Okay, but uh, if you want to use HTTPS, you, you need to use a paid version for Heroku. Uh, and then it would secure. You could say, you know, if you use HTTPS, it would secure any, any, uh, any communication. Uh, so this is asking you to create a brand new user service that uh, exposes the following endpoints. Uh, post register, it's a verb, <laughs> uh, although it, it's a slightly different here since, uh, since um, um, the, typically there will be two users that, uh, use, uh, that manipulate the user. There will be an admin user who can literally look at everybody right, and, and manipulate and create and remove and delete any user. You know, as opposed to you, who only has access to your particular account. Right? So, so there's a distinction here on things that are available only to the administrator, which perhaps is a re it's a REST uh, service, right? only available to the administrator, but then exposed to uh, an, at the outside with a slightly different non-REST uh, API. In this case, this is uh, using post register to create a brand new user. Uh, post profile to retrieve the user. Notice that it's not passing the ID of the user. So I don't know whose profile I'm looking at. Right? But actually I do because I logged in or I registered. Right? And somehow the server needs to remember this. Okay? Right now we've only maintained state on the client right? using this.state or Redux. These are all client-side state management that if you refresh, all the state is gone. Right? So we would like to be able to do a refresh, but still remember 
And we can only do that on the server. We can only do that on the server. The server needs to remember, and we'll look at the state in a minute. So profile without ID retrieves the current user who's currently logged in or who just registered. If you register, you are considered to be logged in right now. Uh, log out, it uh, removes the current user from the session. Uh, and retrieve the list of users, so users. Right, retrieves uh, all the users. So this would be something that, that an admin probably can, can look at this, right? But not, a non-admin should not have access to this. Right? Uh, or retrieve a particular user by ID. Uh, so that's in user Java. In user Java, I create those endpoints. On the client side, you'll need to be able to call right, and make these invocations. Like we've been doing using Postman. Postman, we have to be able to do that programmatically. And we'll see how to do that in a minute. Like we'd like to be able to make these, these, uh, uh, these calls from JavaScript right, and retrieve and do a post to register, a post to profile, post to login, and whatnot. On the on the courses side, courses. Oops. Ah. Uh, we'd like to be able to create a brand new what, what we did, what we just did, right? An endpoint for creating a course, for being able to find all courses, to find a course by ID, update a course, delete a course which is exactly what we just did. I'll, I'll share this, my source code with you so you can, uh, you, have a, you, have a, you have the beginnings of this. Uh, the beginnings of this. Uh, you'll need something similar for web service. For, I'm sorry, for modules. Right, for module. Uh, so the, the module service will be very similar uh, in that, um, uh, that uh, it'll have a, you'll need to be able to to create to add a, a module into a course uh, which is uh, what you're doing currently on the client on the client what you do right you iterate over some array until you find the module until until you find the the course for that particular ID and then you append the new module to that array yes all right but you're gonna have to do that now on the server all right, so you, you're gonna you're gonna move all that all that code that you currently have in courses course service that's now going to move over to the server side, right? But and obviously written in Java as opposed to JavaScript, right? So for instance, this uh, this will allow me to create a brand new module uh, in in a uh, for for a particular course. So giving a course, here's a brand new module. I like to be able to retrieve all the modules in a particular course. I like to retrieve a particular modules given an ID. I like to modify an existing module. Oh, I want to remove a module. Okay. Same thing with lessons. Why is this lowercase? Right, being able to add a lesson to a module, retrieve all the lessons for a module, uh, get a particular lesson if I know the ID and so on and so forth. So this is all the way down to topic, all the way down to topic, and that's it. Right, it doesn't go down to widgets. Next week, when we look at rela uh, relational databases, uh, we'll, we'll map all this to a relational database so that we no longer do any of this for loops instead of a for loops instead of a for loop instead of a for loop. We won't do that, right? That's a join. That's basically a join, right? So we'll, we'll delegate all these joins to a database. Uh, the JPA will handle all that for us automatically, right? Anyway, so that's, uh, that's the... Um, the, the uh, the assignment for this week. Uh, let's uh, let's let's spend a little time here about maintaining state. You know how is it that uh, you would log in or register, or how is it that you would remember who's currently logged in? All right. So let's look at that. <laughs>